right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, all praise to Yahweh. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles of GMS. All right. Time. I'm Akilak Mara off from the Light of the Gentiles camp. I'm Shaquat Ra'an from Light of the Gentiles camp. Hey, salutations to the brethren out there and your sisters out there that's um stay, staying diligent, watching, pushing this truth, sharing these videos. All right. That right there we just watched was just a quick um little video based on the California wildfires. And we're just going to indulge in and go into how these California wildfires is actually biblical script of plagues that happen to how the scriptures when it say that this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, that it is catching the same spirit of um spirit of uh, vengeance that uh, Egypt caught. Come. All right. So matter of fact, we're going to start off with a, one scripture real quick in Sirach 39. And then we're going to um get into the word San Francisco and get into how this place is reaping what it um what it sold. All right. Come. All right, so get, uh, you got that Sirach, uh, 39 and 20, 20, 28, you can start from. This is Sirach, um, 39 and 28. There be spirits, <clears throat> there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right, right. So the scriptures say, Come. real quick, that um there there be spirits that are created for vengeance right now in revelations 11 and 8 it says and their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually is called sodom and egypt where also our lord was crucified now when you go into the word spirit it means it means it means basically life mm -hmm. it means basically the uh the take on the life of mm -hmm. so um yeah, it says animating or vital principle. It says life. Huh. Now, spiritually take on the life of Egypt. Now, read what you had again in the book of Sirach. It's Sirach 39 and 28. Mm -hmm. There be spirits. Right, so there be spirits is meaning that there be energies, mm -hmm. right? There be um, life, mm -hmm. right? It says um, it says uh, vigor, courage, or pride. But basically, basically there be life. You know, animating on vital principle of man or animals, but there be life or or energy, mm. right? For what? Created for what? Created for vengeance. Vengeance, mm -hmm. which in their fury lay on saw strokes. Right. So for vengeance. So when you go into let's you know, cause we just gonna you know be a little tedious and go into the little words right now, mm -hmm. you know, through the spirit, cause. We want you to get the full understanding of what's happening with California. Because that's madness, you know? Come. Revenge. You know? A revenge. This is a get back. Mm. Right? This is a get back. Right? This is a chastisement, a punishment, a correction. Mm -hmm. Right? Of of what's going on in California. And you will see why. Um, go ahead, brother. In the in the time of destruction, mm -hmm. they pour out their force right that's what you see in the force you know these wildfires is a force to be reckoned with man you know over a quarter million acres is on fire right now as we speak and they only contain about 25 percent mm. right and appease the wrath of him that made them right so keep going to verse 29 let's see what spirits uh, uh is putting in work right now this is Ecclesiastes um, 39 and 29. Mm -hmm. Fire and hell. Fire and hell. That's what we're seeing right now. Fire all throughout, all throughout uh, California. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And famine. All right. And, and famine. And we're going to get to the famine part. Because if you burn in, if all of these trees and all of this vegetation is being set on fire, mm -hmm. right? And they wasting all of the water supply on putting on fire. What do you think is going to come out of this? Mm. It's going to come out of it a famine. And when you understand that this is the same format that Egypt was scorched with, right? By the ten plagues, by the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah himself, 
Come. You'll understand that we are in that same biblical time and you'll understand you have to get the reason why. Mm -hmm. Right? Because those places were set up for examples. Mm -hmm. You know, what not to do or unless you're going to get torched like this. Now, of course, the state, uh, the heads, the elites of this society are not going to listen. Mm -hmm. But this is for you Jakes to listen because this is going to affect you, man. Come. All right, go ahead. And death. Mm -hmm. All these were created for vengeance. Right, all of these were created for vengeance. Um, That's it. You, verse 30 goes into more stuff. But the point yeah. we want to get at was the fire. All right, now I'm going to play this little video. And then we're going to get into a little bit of information. Come. You know? Very morning here just outside of Santa Barbara. The hillside behind me looks more like a volcano and it's continuing to rain ash. This is now the fifth largest. Right. He said it's continuing to rain ash. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when you go into the biblical text of Sodom and Gomorrah, it rained brimstone and fire. That's how much this place is burning, man. Okay. Wildfire in modern California history. The good news, though, the weather conditions have been favorable for firefighters since this weekend. We're still in a red flag warning until Friday, but this fire has raced through 236 thousand acres has destroyed more than 900 homes and buildings, and has filled this entire area with smoke, leaving residents desperate for fresh air. My wife and I are, you know, living moment by moment. My mom had a lung transplant four years ago, and so she has a compromised, she has pulmonary fibrosis. I'm so concerned. We just went, left her house um, just to see what, what the conditions are like, and the, it's really bad. More good news. Firefighters have gained the upper hand on all the other fires burning across Southern California. We've also learned the cause for the Skirball fire, which you may remember started in Bel Air there in Los Angeles. That was from an illegal cooking fire. As for the cause of the Thomas fire behind me, that's still under investigation. Right. So, hey, and that's why this is called Thomas, because there was a Skirball fire mm -hmm. and there was a the, the Thomas fire. Was, those were two fires. That's what basically uh, Thomas. Oh, yeah. Go back to meaning means twin. twin too. Now, that's why they named it Thomas, you know. God. When you look it up, it means twin. Right? So this is all happening in California. Right? Now, remember it says this take place shall take on the spirit of Sodom and Egypt. Mm -hmm. Now let's get a scripture real quick on show. You you had a precept real quick? Um the one Jude. Um oh, oh yeah, we can bring that out in a second. Okay. But matter of fact, yeah, we bring that out right right now, actually. Let's okay. uh, we're gonna get it. Matter of fact, yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. This is Jude 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and this and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication. Right, so so they gave themselves over to fornication. Now, fornication goes back to the word <clears throat> fornication itself. Uh, if, you sp if you spot it, just point it out. It's right there. Okay. The word fornication, right? <clears throat> it says giving over to a whoredom. Mm. But it also goes back to the uh, word uh, porno. Mm. Now, when you go to, when you really understand most of the pornos, they're made, they're made in California. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, both of uh, the pornos, yeah. they, they, we go uh, Google it right now because California, it has Hollywood. That's a lot of mm. film production. Con. Okay? Let's see. Most porno film production is done in California. So these people took on the same... <laughs> right. How Porn Valley came to be in business. This is in California. Right, San Fernando Valley is a sun-drenched suburban in cave in Southern California, right? And that's that became known booming in a pornography industry. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, other places in LA, porn film studio among top ten busiest sites in LA. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, and these are many articles. Porn industry still at home in San Fernando Valley, right? So this is these are these. This is read that scripture one more time, brother. This is Jude one and seven. Mm -hmm. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah 
and the cities about them in like manner, mm -hmm. giving themselves over to fornication. Right, fornication. With this fornication, go back to it. Go back to the word pornography. Um, it actually goes and says the word porno itself. Um, let me get a better a better one in the blue letter Bible. But it say lewdness, prostitution, okay, idolatry, and that's what you that's what females are doing. They're doing things for money in that in that type of industry, right? Um, let me get fornication real quick, and you can get you can keep reading. And going after strange flesh, right? And going after strange flesh, right? Mean, meaning you know bestiology that's done in pornography, yeah. right? With Same sex here, here it is right here fornication, pornea. Mm -hmm. You see that? You see that? That's where you get the word porno from. Porn, pornea, porn. Illicit sexual intercourse, adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals. You see that? That's what goes on in California. Now, they also have one of the biggest. Um, you finished it? No. Um, or set forth for an example, mm -hmm. suffering the vengeance. The vengeance, of mm -hmm. which is one of the vengeance. The 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 when we read in Ecclesiasticus. Fire and hell and famine and death were created for vengeance. So, God. through that pornography industry, right, is the Lord's bringing out his vengeance, right? Of eternal fire. Of eternal fire. So, this fire is a pre-cause. It's still a warning mm -hmm. that, listen, yeah, this is a long fire. It started on December 6th. And today is, what, December 14th. 14. So, it's been like over seven days completion. This is a this this fire, you know, this is how this place is really gonna burn, man. Right? So um you know, this is what um this is uh you know uh it says sexual intercourse with close relatives. What what other movies they make? Um they make um the movies like uh I just F my sister or you know oh, yeah, they yeah, do all yeah. of that weird stuff. Yeah. That comes from um sexual intercourse with a divorced man or woman, okay? You know? So that's that's what they do, man. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. That's what that that's what it goes back to, Pornea. So now you want you you have something? I think the Bohem the Bohemian Grove is over there too. I think the so. Bohemian Grove is over there. It's over in San oh. San Fran. As a matter of fact, wow. as you mentioned that. <laughs> see you, you people don't know. <laughs> see they they, they 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 like yeah they like yo it's all man why is it going down? But you gotta understand that the spirit they bring in. That's the life they live in. Okay, Bohemian. Grove, yeah, because it's over in, in um, it's over in San Francisco, belonging to a private wow. San Francisco-based gentlemen's club known as the Bohemian Grove. Again, that's in Cal that's in California. Hmm. What else do they have there? Okay, one of the biggest things that happen yearly, you know, if your rib ever go out there, hey, it is what she going for, man. This is something that they do. They twenty thousand lesbians in the desert, welcome to Dana. A world without men. All right, where is this desert located? All right, well, we're gonna find out. For for five days in Palm Springs, our Madawi entered an alternate reality where gay women celebrate each other with pool parties, dancing, and debauchery. Now, when you look up the word debauchery, it means pleasure. Mm. All right, excessive indulgence in sensual pleasures. All right, now, now we're gonna get. Jump to it, matter of fact. Let's just go to it in Acts, right? Because indulging things in excessive, excessive indulgence and sensual pleasures, that was a lifestyle of an Epicurean, okay? Now, when you go into the word San Francisco, this is the spirit that it takes on. And again, this is from Egypt, all right? And uh, oh, yeah, let me just get every year at the end of March, this is what they do 20,000 lesbians from around the world fly into the California desert. Mm -hmm. For five days of the departure, I'm one of them. It's my second time at the Na, also known as the largest girls' festival in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm staying at the Hilton in Palm Springs, which is hosting the famous Dana pool parties, and the hotel feels like a homosexual harem. All right? Remember, that goes back to porno. Oh. It's, it's a real experience for a few days. The world is turned upside down. The minority is suddenly the majority. Everywhere you look, lesbians are smiling, drinking, dancing, kissing. There are a few men around. Staff working the event 
and guys who have been dragged along by their lesbian friends, but they are hard to spot. It's basically entirely queer women in attendance. All right? It started in 1972. So this place is, it, is it, yeah, it's working, it's, it's been working for this, this, this judgment. Now, now when you go into, it said uh, debauchery, which means pleasures, right? You know, we're jumping around, you know, you know, we, we going through the spirit right now. We, you know, we're jumping around, right? When you go into the word, uh, San Francisco, mm -hmm. because, um, because um, this is one of the 10 largest cities, all right? Right? The 10 cities with the highest LGBT percentage in, in the U.S. The San Francisco metropolitan area has the higher percentage of adults who identify as lesbians, gay, bisexual, or transgender than any other city in the country, all right? So it has the highest out of any city in the entire country, and San Francisco is where? In what, what state? In California. California. All right, so they have took on the life of Sodom. Sodom. All right, so what does San Francisco mean? And then we're gonna bring we're gonna bring out a scripture. What does it mean? Um, <clears throat> San Francisco. Right, name Saint Francis. Right. You go into the word Saint Francis. It means noble or free. Now, the ones who felt noble and free were these Epicureans. And bring out the scripture and I'll go into the word. This is Acts 17 and 18. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans mm -hmm. and of the Stoics entered him. And no, excuse me, encountered him. Right. And some said, what will this babbler say? Right. So this was Paul. And, you know, there was certain, there was, that was their philosophy. Now, philosopher mean, meaning the study of wisdom or love of wisdom. Yeah, kind so of. Their, their love of wisdom, the, 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 the certain philosophers, their love of wisdom was um, being an Epicurean and some were Stoics. Mm -hmm. Right. And they said, what would this babbler say? Go ahead. Babbler say, other some he seemeth to be a setter forth of strange gods. Right, right. So that's how they looked at Paul, right? But the point is that you had these Epicureans. Now, because it said free, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you go into Epicurean, remember they said debauchery, sensual pleasure sinking. When you go into it, it says a person devoted to sensual enjoyment. Especially that derived from fine food and drink. Mm. All right? So, living a sensual life. What else does it say? Pleasure seeking, self indulgement, oh, good time. All right? Mm. So, you know, basically living a free, a carefree life, having a good time. Mm -hmm. Now. In that wicked place over there. Yeah. Exactly. And the lesbians go out. Yeah. With, yep, which is in California. <laughs> so, California has took on this spirit. And they're known for, what, this, this movement that happened. It was called the hippies. hippies kind of now the hippies was about live. It, it said, you know, yeah. it said sexual revolution. You know, just doing what you want. Yeah. Like, oh man, live life, peace. Smoking. You know, smoking weed. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. And where it started in the term hippie was first popularized in San Francisco. Wow. All right. So San Francisco and California, they just reaping a hard working. Uh, they, they, they reaping what they sow. They put in a lot of work, mm. you know, in 1967, the human BN in Golden Gate Park, Park, San Francisco popularized hippie culture leading to the summer of love, mm. debauchery, Epicureanism, that love, oh, you know, that, that's, yeah. that's where it come from. Right. And what comes from out of that. Is you know, there's no way their love is careless, it's it's you know, lesbian is all of that, mm -hmm. you know. So that's where, um, that's what's going on with California. That's the spirit that California took on, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so, um, that, that was it in there, right? Uh, because he preached unto them, Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. and the resurrection, right? And he preached because he preached on them, Yahweh Shah, and the resurrection. Right, so that's what they say to, you know, the other San Fran camps, camps that they see out there. You know, they look at you like you bugged out. 
because this is their life. This is the life that they took on. Now, going back to it being like, um, matter of fact, let me get this real quick in Tobit 4 and 13. And then I'll, uh, I'll say what I have to say. This is Tobit 4 and 13. Come. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, mm -hmm. the sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them. For in pride is destruction, mm. and much terrible, and much trouble, and lewdness mm -hmm. is decay, and great want. Now, lewdness goes back to porno, yeah. and that goes back to what's going on inside of California. Where's the porno's uh, industry? Is in California. California. All right, and lewdness it says is <clears throat> decay. decay. So what is going on with that California? It, 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 it's on fire. It's decaying. It says in great want. It's rotten. It's rotten in the way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For lewdness is the mother of famine. The lewdness is the mother of famine. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at it, when you look at everything. It say decay, right? Lunas brings in decay. El Nino triggered unprecedented unprecedent, erosion across California coast. Mm. Right now, El Nino is basically like a storm. Mm -hmm. And it's basically causing a major, major drought that's happening throughout California and Nevada. Huh. Right? It says El Nino is a multi-year weather pattern that typically brings big storms to the west coast. Drought part Southern California had awaited the expected rains last winter with with bathed with bated breath, hoping it would help revive California's wilton landscape. Northern California did get a good soaking, but down south the the lodge never materialized, leaving many Angelinos wondering whether El Nino really came to the region at all. Now, basically, man, it's just a drought that's just going on throughout California. Right? There's another art. Uh, actually, before I get that one, let me just get this right here. California drought kills 27 million more trees. So not mm -hmm. only do you got a fire going on, burning up the trees, you also have a drought. Mm -hmm. But what is this drought and things coming from again? It's coming from the debauchery. It's coming from the porno industry. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the lewdness. It's coming from the Epicurean lifestyle, the hippie lifestyle. Mm -hmm. This is what's bringing in these droughts. Right? And these things are all biblically biblical judgments man because we're gonna get in what happened in egypt there was droughts right it says another 27 million trees died in this is december 13th 2017 yesterday another 27 million trees died in california last year due to lingering effects of drought according to the new aerial survey data from the u.s forest service that brings the total number of trees killed statewide to a staggering 129 million since 2010. Damn, bro. Right? So we know trees bring forth life. O oxygen. I, <laughs> you know? Oxygen. Oh. Life. Because yeah. animals habitats. These animals that come to that habitat bring forth other animals that, you know, might be prey or predators towards them. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is messing up the whole order of life. The cycle of life. Right? So these are, these are major droughts that's going on because of the debauchery. Nassau confirmed Sierra lost 11.9 trillions of water and grew taller from California drought. So the drought is causing the mountains to grow taller and lose trillions of water, man. 11.9 trillion gallons of water. And we know the water brings, up, brings forth life. You know, these are all recent articles. This was today. You got something? Hold on a second. Um... I don't. Yeah, scripture. Uh, scripture. Yeah, bring it out. This is Romans one and twenty five. Right. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? Right. And worship and serve the creature more than the Creator. Right. Who is blessed forever? Amen. Mm -hmm. You can break it down. Amen. Yeah. So who changed the truth of of the Most High into a lie? Mm -hmm. That's these people that's that's pushing out this um homosexual vibe, man. Right. You know, that got a pe that got you know, also, you know, of, of Jake and our people going astray. Right, right. You know? To 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 fall to fall fall in, in into destruction. Mm-hmm. Um we can go to twenty six. 
You know, because they they're worshiping the creature. They worship they they man please it instead of worshiping the Most High. Right. That that made them. You know, to to be in order. Um, this twenty six. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto foul affections. Mm. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah. You know? Which is what? With lesbianism. Right. You know? Right. That's against nature. Right. Right. Fun. You know, because the Lord said, I should give you the spirit of Sodom mm. and Egypt. This huh. place shall take on a spirit in Sodom and Egypt. So the Lord gave them up to these vile affections. Come. You know, y'all wanted to be just like Egypt. So he opened the portals. And now, you know, you got 20,000 women that fly every year to California in March. And you got people wondering why this place is burning. Mm. Why this place is set on fire. Why there's a drought going on. We show you through biblical scriptures, through actual information, mm. why the Lord does these things. This is what the energy br you bring. Tobit 4 and 13. For, it says, for in pride, your gay pride is destruction, and much trouble, and in lewdness is God. decay, and great want, for lewdness is the mother of famine. So lewdness births famine. Mm, kind of. Lewdness gives birth to famine. The more lewd you get, the more you do your debauchery, your epicureanism, your lesbianism, LGBTQ, you know, the more you'll see more famines, more eleven point two trillion dollar trillion uh, gallons of water gone, tr trees dying, and more California wildfires. Come, you got some. This is um Proverbs thirty one and thirty. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Right. You know? Right. And fear, fearing the Lord is what? Following his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You know? To be right. in order. Right. And not, not, not worshiping the creator. Right. You know? Right. Exactly. Not worshiping the creature. The, excuse me. Not worshiping the, um, the creature. Right. You're right. Come. You know? Now, <clears throat> now, again, we said basically how it was just like the... Uh, like um, we, you know, we went to Revelation eleven and eight, and we're gonna huh. go into uh, matter of fact, get that in Exodus. We're gonna get how exactly these is these is um biblical um things that happened to mm -hmm. Egypt. Now it says, you know, again, in their dead bodies shall lie in the great the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Mm -hmm. So we know spiritually means life. So they took on the life of Sodom and Egypt, mm -hmm. which also our Lord is crucified. Lord was crucified. Now we understand. When you go into the word sodomy, because that's for those who don't know about Sodom in Egypt. Huh. This is how sodomy became known. Sexual intercourse involving anal or oral compilation. Now, you know, uh, same sex and all of that, because that's anal. It says bestiality. You know, when you really get into it, they took on the word sodomy because it was an actual place called Sodom in Gomorrah. Now, this has to exist because how does this word exist without Sodom? And Gomorrah actually existing. Mm, huh. I mean, this is it's found in the Bible. So the place had to exist in mm. order for sodomy to be known as an act. Mm. Because it was a place. Right? Mm -hmm. When you go to a sodomy here, it's called burning. Mm -hmm. You know? That's where the Lord, a city destroyed by the Lord, raining fire and brimstone on it. Now, what's going on with California? It's burning. Mm -hmm. It's on fire. Because uh, of what? Uh, because of their acts. Because of their acts. So that, put it, pushing that spirit. Right. You know, just pushing it. You know, multiplying it. Right. You know, and the, um, the wishes of sin is death. Right. You know, so, you know, and that's an abomination to, to the most high. He, he definitely don't, he definitely not with that. Right. You know. Exactly. He's so showing you it. You're going to get judged. Exactly. And, and, a, and, a, and a lot of, the, a lot of the, the, the children of Israel, they're getting, getting into that, that, that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know? So, mm -hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, that's, you. That's um, why this happening. Mm -hmm. This is um Exodus ten. Ex huh? We should got Exodus ten and, and fourteen. And fourteen. Let me read this real quick. Okay. This is Second Edris fifteen and um eleven. I saw from ten. Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. 
right? He's not going. The Lord is not going to suffer us to live in the, the land of Egypt spiritually, America. Mm -hmm. We're not going to just be living here for too much longer, mm -hmm. because you got things being turned out. They, they, they got more. You got uh, p pedophilia is becoming a sexuality now. You know, pedophiles mm -hmm. becoming a sexuality. The pedophile is someone who deals with young boys and little girls. Mm -hmm. You know, robots. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Now they're making you know. And more artificial intelligence, you know, uh, you know, this place, we, the Lord is not going to suffer us to dwell here much longer. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with the plagues as before. Now, when has the land of Egypt been smited with the same plagues as before? Mm, now it's I not can. talking about that Egypt it's talking about a newer e this spiritual Egypt which is America Tons. and he's going to smite it with the plagues that it did before him, which we're going to go into and Tons. will destroy all the land thereof Tons. right Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall bring on it mm. they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail mm. right which they see this feeling. That's why they got um, Monsanto's, GMOs. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't grow nothing uh, basically in this land. Mm -hmm. Everything is imported, exported. Come. Through the blasting in hell and with a fearful constellation. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to get some of the plagues as before, man. This is Exodus um, 10 and 14. Mm-hmm. And the locusts went up over all the land of Egypt mm -hmm. and rested in all of the coasts of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Very grievous were they. Before them, there were no such locusts as they. Neither after them shall be such. Right. And the new form of locusts is going to be the nuclear missiles, man. Mm, but, you know, <laughs> as these form of locusts, it shall not be such, right? 15. Mm -hmm. For they covered covered the face of the whole earth so that the land was darkened mm -hmm. and they that eat every herb of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hell had left mm -hmm. and there remained not any green thing in the trees mm -hmm. or in the herbs mm -hmm. of the field through all the land of Egypt. Right, and that's what's going on in California. Come. That's why you got 27 million trees dead that we um that's that that died off, mm -hmm. you know, that we just read about, you know. California drought kills 27 more million more trees. The wildfire has burned over, uh, it says 236 acres. Now let me let's let's just see how big is 236 acres because that's that's how much uh land it it, it covered right. Come. How big. Is up, trees, trees also clean clean the air. Right. Trees um pr to provide wood. Right. Provide food. Right. You know, so that's like. You know, so like if there's a, no like air, a big decrease. It, yeah. yeah, right. The animals are gonna die. Yeah, there's certain people that's gonna die. This smoke is gonna leave certain people with cancers. Kind right, the same way that it did in um nine eleven when the buildings fell, oh, people yeah. that was around all that smoke. That smoke, yeah. They died from cancer later on. You know, right? This is two. Is that it grows to two hundred thirty eight thousand five hundred? Right, and that's 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 the amount. Where is that? And all of this was caused by the winds, man. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, um, you you finished with that? Yeah. Matter of fact. <clears throat> Let me get that real quick in Jeremiah. Because this is what the prophets is doing. Yeah, you could bring it out. Jeremiah 51 and 1. This is what the prophets is doing. And, and the one in Ezekiel where he said, uh, prophesied of the wind. Okay. Um, this is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up mm -hmm. against Babylon mm -hmm. and also, and, 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 excuse me, and against them that dwell in the mid of them mm -hmm. that rise up against me. A destroying wind. Right. Now, when you look, the winds is calling this calling this um this fire to spread. Uh we'll, we'll show you. Uh, okay. we'll show you that it is. California wildfire spread by 
spread by winds. Kind of notice the um the most high said um Babylon. Mm -hmm. When you um look up the word Babel, uh, Babylon, it goes back to Babel, which means confusion. Kind brother, kind. You know? That's and right. This place is definitely a place of confusion here here in 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 America. That's right. Come. It says California wildfires update. OJ o Ojai surrounded by fire as powerful winds threaten to spread blaze. More than a hundred thousand acres of Southern California have burned as a wave of fire as wave as a wave of fires in the state reached the Bel Air neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it's the powerful winds that spread in it. All right, Los Angeles threatened as wildfires spread. It is spreading by what? By the winds, fierce winds to intensify as firefighters battle California wildfire. So they can't put out the fire really because it's the wind that's causing the fire to spread, right? I think that's kind of funny. They said Bel Air. That goes back to um, Fresh Prince, and you know he was known for like you know doing like like gay scenes. He had like a gay mm -hmm. manager and stuff like that. God. So um, Benny Med Benny Medina. Mm. You know, he's like, you know, he's, he's, he, you know, he's into that, he's into that type of world, mm. you know, so, so mm. it's funny, like, you know, how you right. just spread that spirit out like that, you know, right. how, how it just connects like that. Right. Con. Con. Yeah. You got more? It says um, a destroying wind, right? Destroying wind, mm -hmm. two, and will set, this is Jeremiah 51 and two, mm -hmm. and will send unto Babylon, um, fan fanners. Mm -hmm. That shall fan her mm -hmm. and shall empty her land. Right, say fanners that shall come and fan her and mm -hmm. empty and empty her land. You know, this is saying to be strange to be a stranger, right? Okay. But basically, a hey, it's a symbolic term because the you know the Most High is causing this this s spiritually. Yeah, this is going down in a way where um this this truth is spreading, right? You know, the ones who's against Babylon. But, you know, on a, on a physical part, it's also on uh, the Lord is sending that destroying wind throughout California right now. Come. You know, throughout which is in Babylon, which is confusion. That's a come. place of come, madness, confusion, man. Mm -hmm. Number one for uh, number one city of LGBTQ. So, of mm -hmm. course, that's a hell of confusion. Right? What did it say? Um, that shall fan her mm -hmm. and shall empty her land. Mm-hmm. For in that day of trouble, mm -hmm. they shall be against her roundabout. Right, right, right. So everybody's going to be against this place roundabout. You mm -hmm. know, on the physical, physical part, you know, you know, just using it to show you, hey, the Lord is this, this, these, these words. Mm -hmm. Man, you get that with Ezekiel prophesied to the wind. These words, these words, is um carrying a spirit on a man, and this place is starting to get the judgment just off of the word. Like when you read about Joshua, how did um the walls of Jericho fall? Mm -hmm. It fell because of the words, right? It said, uh, it's you know the scriptures tell you that you know we we you know our warfare is not carnal, not carnal come, right? We're not come, out come. there starting a fight with our hands, but the <laughs> words pushing yeah. and showing that this place is wicked is, and you know warning and constantly come. warning this place is now starting to get uh it's starting to get a a, a judgment. You know what I'm saying? So. Come. Cause hey. we we putting spirits out there too, but we're doing it on 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 the right hand side. Exactly, brother. You know, Con. exactly. Um, this is Ezekiel thirty seven and nine. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto me, mm -hmm. Prophesy unto the wind. Mm -hmm. Prophesy, my son of man, mm -hmm. and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord mm -hmm. Yahweh, Come forth. I mean, excuse me. Come from the four winds. O oh, breathe and breathe breath upon these slain that they might live. Right. Breathe upon these slain so they could wake up and come in the truth. Come. But at the same time, we, we we saying things for brothers to wake up, but we also saying things for judgment. Come. You know, and as Lord said what? The, the spirit is as the wind. Mm. So a lot of the times, man, you 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 know, you speaking it uh, you know, a spirit a spirit of what? A spirit of vengeance that we read earlier. Come. You know? And these are these are things that um these are these are the things that you know we constantly doing and now you know you see this place catching this judgment man mm. you know you you say you was gonna get some or you you have some more let me go go to ten uh yeah you can this is Ezekiel thirty seven and ten mm -hmm. so I prophesied as the as he commanded me right to say before mm -hmm. you know we've been saying uh, constantly that this place 
um, is spiritually Sodom and Egypt and is going to catch those plagues. The apostles have been saying that. Mm -hmm. You know, we still forewarning that, you know, this that, that, that wildfire is like a, a little sample mm -hmm. of what's really to come when the Lord really let loose some nuclear missiles, man. Come. And that breathe and that breathe upon it came into them mm -hmm. and they lived. Mm -hmm. Let me read that one more time. And the breath mm -hmm. came into into them mm -hmm. and they lived. And they lived. And stood up uh -huh. upon their feet in a seating great army. Right. So you got two sides. You got the, the words uh, being carried by the wind and people catching that spirit. Remember they say the spirit means life, you know, uh -huh. energy, you know, a principle. You know, so they kept, you know, people waking up, the, the you know, souls. from the words, yeah, the being God. carried by the, you know, by these, these, this wind, by the spirit, God. right? And they're waking up. And then you also got people that's being put to death by it, you know, mm. and, you know, places getting judged like California, God. you know, um, if you got any other stuff you want to bring out, you can, I pretty much, um, that was pretty much, uh, you know, yeah, what God. I, what I wanted to go through, you know, for the, for the, for the video. You know, kind of came out a little, little long, but you know what? Through the spirit, I just wanted to show, like, concerned people when they see, um, when you see these things go down, mm -hmm. you really don't know much about, like, um, uh, why, why it's happening. Why? Yeah. You know, you see these people living, you know, about without their homes, and you know, they they show you all of that, and you know, you start to feel sorry for them, but you don't understand that some of these people are the ones living this lifestyle, and this this whole area has brought forth this type of energy. Mm. You know, and that was the point of bringing it out. What you know, what what was the actions that they was doing to receive this? Con. You know, because it say on um, what Romans six and twenty three. What it say? The which is this is this is Romans six and twenty three. Mm -hmm. For the wages of sin is death. Right. So you getting paid for your sin, which is death, and that's why it's a massive. You know, uh, you know, trees is dying. Mm. The water is dying. Is dying off mm -hmm. animals dying off people homes homes is being burnt down people mm -hmm. are dying you know mm -hmm. because of their sin what is the sin that they're doing the lewdness mm -hmm. the, the the whole damn porno industry that's set up there mm -hmm. the lesbianism that goes on there same mm -hmm. you know homosexual same sex you know mm -hmm. bestiality bestiality that goes on there also uh -huh. that's one of the biggest areas where they um grow marijuana mm -hmm. you know the, the drug dealing over there so you know mm -hmm. this ain't that's ain't you know a lot of people Go to live there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the, for that Hollywood, you know, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The Hollywood, Hollywood is there, life. which puts forth which Hollywood, me, Hollywood, which is Con. witchcraft. Witchcraft, Con. And what do witches? What does it say? Uh, that have how, what has to happen to witches? They should be put to death. They should be burnt with Con. the fire. Oh, yeah, Con. Con. It's a specific mm -hmm. judgment that they should be burnt with the fire. Con. So you know, this place is, it's you know, it's this ain't, yeah, yeah. This ain't just you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it's definitely you know um going down, bro. Mm -hmm. Um. Finish reading. For the wages of sin is death, mm -hmm. but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shamashiach, our Lord. Right. So you know, the gift of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is eternal life, which is through Yahweh Shamashiach, our Lord, which we push forth, which is what repentance. Mm. You know, which Come. is brotherly love, which is following the commandments and treating our neighbor as ourselves. Come. Right. Not prostituting out the whole damn state of California. Come. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know that's not what you do. You know, you know the, the children mm -hmm. of Israel, mm -hmm. which is the um the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans, mm -hmm. they are a special people onto the onto the Most High. So right. He don't want them going astray. You know? Right. 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 Come. Right. So you know, that was pretty much it, man. You know, just wanted to bring out some information, you know, to show you why is this California wildfire happening and how is a biblical event how they catching the plagues of Egypt, man. Con. You know, so with that, man, I just again, you know, I'm I'm Yalak Mara off from, from the uh, Light of Gentiles camp. I'm Shaquat Ryan from Light of the Gentiles camp. Right, and with that, man, we want to give all praises to our Lord and Savior Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. A double honors to the apostles of GMS, Con. who the Lord set up to teach this truth with sincerity. Salutations to you, Akim, that's out there pushing out this truth. Con. Salutations to you, sisters, that's out there taking heed mm -hmm. and actually, you know. Listening and supporting mm -hmm. the men, men of the Lord that's doing that, um, Come. putting this work in. Salutations for you, Akim. That's part of a lot of Gentiles camp. Come. You know, that's edifying, con constantly edifying. Mm -hmm. 
right? And hey, man, with that being said, may the Lord cause this wildfire to keep spreading. God. May judgment um, happen more and more. May spirits and visions pick up more and more throughout uh, this, this, this uh, Babylonian society. Right. And God. may the Lord uh, wake up and arise the elect. Come. That being said, come yashala. Come yashala. Come yashala. Come yashala. Come yashala. Come yashala. Shalom. Shalom.